Hi, it's Charles from Rikon Australia here, and today we're going to talk about our Rikon Mini Lathe. It's the model 70-105. Uh, this is sort of the entry level lathe for the Rikon um, range of lathes. This one's perfect for someone who's just getting into wood turning and after something small, it's not going to take up too much space. Um, also, pen makers that are uh, doing a lot of re repetitive pen making, this is a great lathe for that. So this lathe has got a half a horsepower motor, which is 375 watts. It's got five speeds ranging from 450 RPM up to 2600 RPM. This lathe has got a 250 millimeter swing and a 458 between centers. Nice and easily adjustable. So you just loosen this knob on the back and you can move that. Adjustable tool rest which is uh, six inches, 150 millimeters. Uh, the lathe has self-ejecting tailstock, so you just wind this handle and then can pull out your um, tools that you've got in there, your spindles, and then easily just pop those back in when you're ready to use them. You can um, add onto this, you can add an extension bed onto it, just bolts on the back, so if you wanna give yourself a larger distance between centers. We've also got it positioned here on the stand that you can buy additionally and you can also buy an extension for that too so you can have the extension bed on the stand as well. The stand is also adjustable so you can position it for different working heights and if you didn't want to put it on the stand it does come with these rubber mounts which you just screw into the, the holes here so you can sit it on a bench and you don't have to worry about it vibrating or, or moving away from you when you're working on it. Machines for the Australian market come standard with a M30 3.5 millimeter more um, thread for your chucks and adapters. So changing from your different feed speeds is quite simple. Basically, you've got your belt tension down here. So you loosen off the kip lever, pull the motor up, that releases the tension off the belt. And then we undo this cover down the bottom here. So we've got a bit of better access. So there's one here we can take off and we can see the spindle pulleys down there and there's also another on the back so if we undo these covers it just gives you better access to change the belts over and then you basically just change the belt to your desired speed so on here it gives you tells you if you want the lower speed you go from pulley a to pulley f and so on and so on you just got to make sure you line everything up nice and straight so you just flick that over to the speed that you like Adjust your tension back down just by hand and nip that up and just check that you do have good tension on that. If it's not tight enough, the belt will slip. And then we can run the lathe just to make sure that it's all spinning and uh, running a nice alignment. As you can see, the lathe is very smooth. These are, because they're all cast iron, you get uh, almost no vibration through the lathe. So uh, it gives you a better accuracy when you are turning and doing those small projects. The machine also has a no volt relay switch in it. So what that basically means is if for whatever reason the power is disconnected and then it comes back on, the machine won't start up unless the operator turns it back on again. Uh, this is especially safe for a uh, safely for schools. Um, as if there was an accident and someone hit, uh, uh, turned the power off and a student or someone was touching it and it came back on, uh, it could be quite dangerous. So this prevents that from happening. And all the Rikon products come with a five year warranty for that peace of mind. If you need any more information, don't forget to chat to your local Rikon dealer and you can find out a bit more information or go and have a test play with them. Check it out in their stores. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.